Hi everyone, welcome back. Alright, today we work through beginner's flow and we'll be having a little bit of fun with some props. So if you'd like to pause this video once I'm done explaining and look at yourself. Uh, firstly, anything that resembles a strap. So you can use a yoga strap, you can use a rope, a skipping rope, a pair of leggings, a dish towel, anything like that that you can roll up into a nice long strap-like variation. And then just place it next to the mat. Okay, and then I have two yoga blocks here, which are the same size. If you can find two books that are the same size, that would be great. It's not essential, so if you can't find any, you can also work without. But if you can find something um, that's similar sizing, that would be great. Um, and I can sort of hold your weight. So we're going to eventually use them underneath our hands. We will also be really activating through the inner thighs today. I'm going to be showing you how we do that through yoga, the action. Uh, we'll be training the body, creating this frame um, with our block. So if you don't have a block for this, or if your blocks that you're using on your mat are too heavy, or your books, you're welcome to get a small cushion or something that you can squeeze into. A foam block is fine as well if you have a foam block. So something you can squeeze your, uh, in between your inner thighs that isn't going to hurt you or isn't too heavy. Okay, so just go off and get those things. And then if you have a pillow or a couple of pillows or something you can use for our relaxation at the end. I have a bolster here, but you can use a pillow, a cushion, anything, even a blanket, a rolled up blanket, anything that you would like to use at the end. Place it away from the mats, just out of the, the way for now. And then a chair. So I have a kind of like a flip chair here. These are great if you have something like this, then try and use this. Otherwise, it can be any kind of chair with a top. So what we'll be doing is we'll be using it to stretch out our legs. If you don't have a chair, you can also use a wall. So, or a top of the couch, or anything like that. So just get creative, it's meant to be a little bit of fun today. Um, if you're using the top of a chair and it's hard, so if it's wood or like this uh, tin, then you're welcome to use a blanket on top as well, just to help you with your ankles. All right, so just run off and go and get a few things. You can just place the chair to one side. And we'll meet at the front of the mat. You'll place the blocks to the front of the mat so they're easily available. We've got the strap down by our sides. We'll come to the front of the mat and we'll meet here and just take a minute of silence. So we'll start standing tall. We'll take hands into the heart center. Anjali Mudra. As you start to connect your left and right. Your feminine, your masculine, the sun and the moon. And you can start by taking deep breaths in through the nose, long deep sighs out of the mouth. As so you just slowly start becoming aware of your body on your mat, in your space. As you become aware of your breath, and as you just start to de stress, release anything that doesn't serve you for this practice. When you feel ready, you can start to open up the eyes. And we'll just take two flows, one on each side of Surya Namaskar, just to loosen up the body, to warm up the body, to start energizing ourselves, and just to de-stress the mind, 
before we start using our props and moving into different shapes. So taking a deep breath in, sweep the arms up towards the ceiling, reach up as high as you can as if you're giving yourself a full body stretch, and then exhale, fold forward, take the arms up behind, flat back, almost like you're diving into a swimming pool. Take a deep breath in, hands come onto your shins, lengthen out into a tabletop, tuck the belly in towards the spine. And then exhale, press your hands into the mat, spread your fingers, bend your knees, step your left leg back, right leg back into downward facing dog. Stay here for a couple of breaths, maybe moving a little bit in the shape. So make sure you first spread your fingers, not as wide as they can go, just so that they give you a strong foundation, placing the index finger and thumbs, pressing them into the mat, and then allowing the rest of the body to kind of move in this shape. So we just want to open up calves and hamstrings, we want to get used to being upside down. And then breathing in, lift your gaze look in between your hands and slowly roll into plank pose. Palakasana. Maybe slide your legs back or move your hands forward. Distributing the weight throughout your body. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adjusting feet as you need to. Breathing in, roll into your plank pose. Strengthening the wrists, strengthening the core, strengthening the legs, strengthening the mind. Exhale, downward facing dog. One last time, breathing in, plank pose. Hold it, try to stay with it. And then exhale, lower the knees onto the ground, untuck your toes, lower yourself all the way down, keeping the elbows close into the midline. And then breathing in, press into the mat and come into a baby cobra. So just lifting up slightly, squeezing inner thighs together, draw the elbows in towards the midline, open up the chest. Exhale, come all the way down, chin, forehead last. Take a deep breath in here on the exhale, press into the mat, buttocks to heel, straighten out the arms. And try to get the forehead down towards the mat. If it doesn't come all the way down, you can grab one of your blocks and place a block under your forehead. Stay here, five breaths. Keep reaching forward through the hands. Keep grounding through the fingertips, through the palms. Keep pressing buttocks back towards the heels so you have this beautiful elongation from in, within your spine, so all the way from your tailbone, all the way up to the cervical spine. Taking a deep breath in here, on the exhale, slide your hands back and we come into cat pose. So come onto all fours, make sure the hands are stuck under the wrists, elbows and shoulders, knees under the hips, keep your fingers spread, round your spine, tuck your chin into your chest and lift the spine up towards the ceiling. And then breathing in, start to lower the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze and lift the tailbone. Open up the chest. Exhale, round. Inhale, lower the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze, and we'll do one more. Exhale, round. Inhale, lower the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the gaze, look in between the hands, bend your knees as much as you can. Now really press the torso back towards the thighs. You're almost pushing your belly onto the top of your thighs. Pressing the hands into the mat, also strengthening here through the wrists, through the knees, the ankles. And then step left foot to the front, right foot meets the left, halfway left, hands on shin, straighten out your spine, tuck your belly in towards the spine. Exhale, come all the way down, forward fold. If you need to here, you can bend the knees slightly, but try to start straightening them out every time you take a deep breath in and exhale. Bending the knees, breathing in, spinal walk. Using the vertebra of your spine to roll you up one by one. 
allowing the arms to feel heavy, the head to feel heavy, and then rolling the shoulders up, back and down. We'll do one more round, and then we'll start to use props to go a little deeper. Breathing in, arms come up. Give yourself a full body stretch. Exhale, swan dive forward as if you're diving into a swimming pool. Exhale. Take a deep breath in, hands on your shins. Lengthen out your spine like a tabletop. Tuck your belly in. Kind of press the shoulders back away from the ears, which allows your neck to grow a little taller. Starting to bend the knees, press hands into the mat. Take right leg back, left leg back into downward facing dog. Moving in this shape, creating the strong foundation through your hands and then maybe just lifting up onto the toes, maybe rolling the hips from side to side. Just listen to your body as we just start to warm the body up. Creating strong foundation through the hands and then that allows us to be a little bit more flexible within the rest of our body just for this first round. On the next inhale, lift up onto the toes, roll forward into plank pose, slide your feet back if you need to. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in, roll up onto the toes, roll forward, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, breathing in, roll up onto the toes, roll into your plank pose. Try to keep it quite fluid, strengthening wrists, strengthening arms, core, Legs distributing the weight throughout your body. Can you try and take more of the weight into the legs? On the next exhale, lower your knees, untuck your toes, lower your body down, move carefully all the way down, slow motion, really wake up the arms. And then breathing in, lift into a little bit of a higher cobra. So pressing the heart forward, pushing the pelvis and the top of the thighs into the mat. Open up your heart space as you draw the shoulders back. Keep grounding through the hands. Activate the back of the legs, squeeze inner thighs together. Exhale, roll down, chin, forehead last. Take a deep breath in, on the exhale, press into the mat, come all the way back into your child's pose, buttocks to heels, straighten out the arms, forehead to the mat. If you can't reach the mat with the forehead, you can use a block under your forehead. Taking five deep breaths here. Breathing in any way that feels good for you for now. Really just trying to connect with your breath. Take one more breath here. On the next exhale, slide your hands back, round your spine into cat pose. Stay strong and firm through the hands as they stack under the shoulder, elbows and shoulders, knees under the hips. Tuck chin into the chest, lift the spine up towards the ceiling as you kind of suction your belly up. On the next inhale, lower the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, round. Inhale, lower the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, round, two more. Slow movements, breathing in. Exhale, round. Last one, breathing in, lower the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Tuck your toes under, push your buttocks back towards the heels, lift your knees off the ground and press your tummy onto your thighs. And then maybe lift one hand at a time, almost like a cat kneading into the couch. Strengthening your wrists, strengthening knees and ankles. And then step right foot forward, left foot meets the right, halfway left, hands on shins. Press into the shins, coming to tabletop, tuck the belly in, lengthen through the spine. On the exhale, forward fold, come all the way down. This time when we spiral roll, we're going to take our strap with us. So take hold of your strap in both hands. You can just create this tight kind of bind. Make sure you've got a tight grip with both hands, just a little bit wider than your shoulders. So kind of to the sides of the mat. 
Allow the arms and head to feel heavy as you bend the knees, slowly start to spiral roll through your vertebra as you roll all the way up. When you get to the top, we're going to roll the shoulders back and down. Stand tall for a couple of breaths, just get used to standing. Okay, and then you can just release the one side of the strap. We're going to come to the front of the mat, so step forward. Take one of your blocks or a small cushion or books or whatever you're using, take it and place it in between the thighs, so right at the top of the thighs. So what we want to do is we want to create this kind of um, frame, framework to show our body, to tr uh, train our body on how to squeeze the inner thighs together. So when we're standing in Antadasana, we should be squeezing an imaginary block. All right, so we'll, we'll work through it. So find your block or book, place it at the top of the thighs, and it's this squeezing inwards. So it's kind of like the, the back, the upper back thighs kind of roll inwards. All right, so squeezing inwards, take hold of your strap, come back to the front of the mat. Taking a deep inhale, start to take the arms up towards the ceiling, take them back slightly, so you're sort of stretching into the shoulders here, lifting through the band, squeezing your block, so squeezing your inner thighs together to hold the block there, but also to engage the abdominals. The minute the block, we start to squeeze the block, our tummy sort of tucks in and we lift with this beautiful posture. Exhale, come all the way down. Keep squeezing your block, hold that activation, the whole time that we're using this, this movement, breathing in. Exhale. Breathing in. Exhale. Keep squeezing your block, stay fully active. Breathing in. Exhale. Breathing in. Exhale, last one. Keep squeezing your blocks. Stay fully active. Breathing in. Lift. Hold it here. Lengthening enough through the arms. You have this full body activation from toes all the way up towards your arms or fingers. Squeeze your inner block. Tuck your belly in. Lift through the chest and then start to rise up onto the toes. Exhale, slowly roll down. Keep squeezing your block. Breathing in. Roll up. Exhale, roll all the way down. And again, breathing in, roll up. Exhale, roll down. Two more, and then we hold. Breathing in, roll up. Exhale, roll down. Last one, hold as you come up. Keep squeezing your block. Keep lifting through the arms. Exhale, slowly roll down. And just release. You can keep the block or book there. Take the arms down. Just release it. Relax your inner thighs. It's much harder than it looks. So it looks like quite an easy movement. But that is when we stand in Tadasana normally, which we'll do at the end, you'll see that this kind of imaginary block in between our thighs, this inner thigh squeezing, it starts to really activate through the legs, lifting all the way up, so giving you a really good posture and allowing the core to start to tuck in and up. All right, so we'll play with that a bit just now. Take the strap in your left hand, we're gonna take it up towards the ceiling. Now start squeezing your block again. Take the strap behind by bending the left elbow, and then internally rotate your right shoulder, bend the right arm, take it behind you, and then take hold of your strap. So you're creating this bind with both arms in your strap. And then you're sort of aligning yourself, so squeezing the block, squeezing in the thighs together, holding onto your strap with a tight grip, and really opening through the elbows. So you're kind of opening the elbows, pressing the right arm back slightly, and the left arm up and slightly back. Your neck is straight. Find a point of concentration, which we call our dristi, or you can close the eyes. Keep focusing on the block, squeeze in the thighs together, tuck the belly in, stand tall. And just keep breathing in any way that feels good for you today. 
deep controlled breaths. In through the nose and either out through the mouth or out through the nose. Two more breaths. Keep squeezing your blood. Okay, staying here, we're going to come up onto the toes again. So breathing in, rise. Keep squeezing your blood. Exhale, roll down. Breathing in, rise. Exhale, roll down, slow and controlled. Stay fully active through the body, breathing in. Exhale, two more, we hold, breathing in. Exhale, last one, breathing in, hold. Squeeze your block. Stay focused and keep breathing. Exhale, release. All right, so you can release your strap. Take your left arm up, just give it a beautiful stretch and then take your strap just neatly onto the ground. You can remove your block from between your thighs, place it to the front of the mat. Take a deep inhale, reach both arms up towards the sky, just give yourself a full body stretch. And then interlace all 10 fingers, turn your palms up and then really press the palms in towards the ceiling. Pretend your feet are glued to the ground but you're lengthening through the rest of the body. Now pretend you have that uh, imaginary block in between your thighs. Squeeze your imaginary block. Inner thigh squeeze inwards. Activate your core and it allows you to lengthen a little bit more. Take a deep breath in on the exhale. Come over to the left. Inhale back towards the center. Exhale over to the right. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, we round forward. Now keep squeezing that imaginary block. Round the front of the palms towards the front of the room like you're creating this bowl. Tuck your chin into your chest and keep squeezing inner thighs together. Such a beautiful opening in the back of the neck, in the upper back. Sweep the same interlace behind your spine, interlace all ten fingers, open up heart space, open up your chest into this little back bend, open up your throat. Now squeeze your palms together and then exhale, start to fold forward, take the arms overhead. Keep the palms squeezing together, try to straighten up the legs here. If you can't straighten up the legs here, if it's too much, then bend them slightly, micro bend them, but stay here, try and stay with it with the arms. If you have a shoulder injury or any injuries uh, in the upper neck, then please rather come out of this and come into a forward fold. Release hands down to the buttocks, everybody down into the forward fold. Breathing in, halfway lift, straighten out your spine, hands on your shins, press your hands into your shins, open up like a tabletop, tuck your belly up towards the spine. And then lift all ten toes off the mat. So make sure that you're grounding all four corners of each foot into the mat. On the next exhale, release all ten toes onto the mat. Bend your knees as much as you can. Take your hands onto the mat. Step left leg back, right leg back into downward facing dog. So creating your strong foundation through your hands. Now we work a little bit more on alignment. So spreading fingers, not so that they're straight, but just so that you have equal distance apart between each finger. Press index finger and thumbs into the mat. Your lower part of your arms roll inwards, whereas your upper part of the arms roll outwards, drawing the shoulders back. And then pressing your torso back towards your thighs, drawing the heels down towards the mat, and then the sit bones are lifting up towards the ceiling. So it's like this this elongation in the back of the legs, so you're feeling this pull in the hamstrings and calves. Such a beautiful pull. If your heels don't come down to the ground, that's fine. It's all about drawing them down and lifting the hips. Tucking the belly in towards the spine. Take two more breaths here. Inhale, start to lift up onto the toes.
toes, and then roll yourself forward like you did before, almost like a cat with a rounded spine, come into plank pose. I know it's strong. Try and stay with it, stay on the balls of the feet, distribute the weight throughout your body. So imagine your block is in between your thighs, squeeze your imaginary block. That activates your quad muscles, your legs, it allows the core to really lift and help you keep strong with your hand foundation, your dristy points and focus. On the next exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in, rolling into your plank pose. Get a little bit of movement into the body. Squeeze your imaginary block. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time. Breathing in, roll up onto the toes. Roll forward into your plank pose. Squeeze inner thighs together. On the exhale, lower your knees onto the mat. Untuck your toes. Start to lower yourself down, but keeping the elbows close and towards the midline. And just do it very slowly as you come down. Try to wake up the arms. Strengthening the arms as you come down. Sliding the legs back. Now I'd like you to take one of your blocks or your books. Place it again in between the thighs. Or your small cushion. Alright, just make sure you're comfortable. So right at the top of the thighs, exactly like we did when we were standing. Take hands to the sides. Just place your forehead on the mat to start with. Now start to squeeze your inner thighs together. So squeeze your block. Point your feet, so make sure you're fully active through the legs, you're fully active through the toes. And then on the inhale, we press into the mat and we slowly start rising. So you have a couple of options here. You can take your hands a little bit further forward and open them up a little bit wider than usual if you find cobra quite a difficult pose to get into. So you can make it quite wide and then come up as high as you feel comfortable. If you're a little bit more comfortable with your back bend, you can take your hands a little bit closer to the body and a little bit more down towards the behind the shoulders and then start to press. And we'll try and come up a little higher than we did before, squeezing the thighs together, pressing the pelvis into the mats. So we're still using this action of legs strong, opening the chest and shoulders, lifting the gaze, maybe opening the throat very slightly. And then exhale, roll all the way back. Keep squeezing your block, keep your legs active, keep pointing your feet. Sweep the hands behind your spine, interlace all ten fingers, breathing in, lift your chest off the mat as you open up, pull the shoulders back, just like we did before, but we had the squeezing palm action, opening up, and then start to lift the legs, squeeze your block, and lift. Keep your feet active, keep the rest of your body active. Full Shalabhasana. Exhale, roll all the way back down. Release your arms, release your block, place your block back towards the front of your mat. And then just place forehead on the mat, take arms down by your sides and just take five breaths. On the next inhale, I'd like you to press your hands into the mat. We come into child's pose, Balasana. But first, I'd like you to take your books or blocks and just place them down the mat a little bit. We're going to use them now. So you can just place them on the sides and just move them down so we don't have to reach for them. Press into the mat, buttocks to heel, straighten up the spine. And just rest here for a couple of breaths. Stay fully active in this pose. On the next inhale, lift your gaze, take hold of your blocks or your books, place your hands on top of the props. If you don't have your props available, if you don't have any props, you can just do this normally. So you just put your hands on the mat. So don't stress if you don't have uh, any props. But if you have your books and blocks, you're going to press your palms into the blocks. And this just deepens our stretch slightly. So I'd like you to slide them forward, really lengthen through the arms. Now pretend that your buttocks is glued to your heels. 
So you've actually glued them down. If you need to, you can place a cushion or a pillow in between your legs and your buttocks, especially if it doesn't go all the way down. Press your palms into the blocks. Bow your forehead all the way down towards the mat. Maybe it touches the mat, maybe it doesn't, but you're still getting this beautiful elongated stretch into the armpits, um, into, the, into the chest here. I'm pressing the buttocks back towards the heels, this lovely lengthening through the spine. Take a couple of breaths. Now keep pressing your palms in towards the blocks. They're not just resting there. They're actually working by pressing down. On the next inhale, let's do gaze. Slide your blocks back now. We come into our arms, our all fours, but this time with our blocks or books. Again, if you don't have props, you just do this normally. So hands on the mat. You're going to spread your fingers just like we did. Your pinky and thumb can kind of just curl around. Try not to grip the blocks. Try to be quite gentle with them. So it's almost just like the floor has been raised. Pressing hands into the blocks. Knees back underneath the hips. We come into our cat cows, but this time with a little bit of length. And it actually really makes quite a big difference. So on the exhale, we roll our spine. Take the spine up towards the ceiling. Suction the belly up, touch into chest. Such a beautiful stretch. On the inhale, start to lower the belly. Lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, lower the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, round, last round. Slow, controlled movements, but really exaggerating each stretch here. Breathing in, lower the belly, lift the heart, and lift the gaze, stay here. Start to tuck the toes under, such a nice stretch. And then start to press buttons back towards the heels and lift the knees off the ground as you press into the blocks. And strengthening, we're strengthening knees, strengthening ankles. Lift your gaze, step left foot to the front, right foot meets the left, halfway lift, straighten the spine. You can place your fingertips on the blocks. Exhale, deep forward fold. When you feel ready, you can start to spinal roll, so just move the blocks back towards the front of the mat. You can take your strap in one hand, and if you'd like to, you can take the block in the other hand to start prepping. Bending the knees, spinal roll, allow your arms and head to feel heavy. Maybe take the block in both hands just to keep it level. When you get to the top, roll the shoulders up towards the ears, back and down. Take the block in between your thighs. Take the strap in your arms and just settle yourself into this position for a couple of breaths. On the next inhale, squeeze your inner thighs together, squeeze your block. Breathing in, arms up. Exhale. Breathing in, arms up. Exhale. Breathing in. Exhale, two more. Keep squeezing your block. Breathing in. Exhale, last one. We hold up at the top. Breathing in, arms up. Lengthen through the arms and then take a deep breath in. Rise up onto the toes. Exhale, roll down. Breathing in, rise up. Exhale, roll down. Three more. Breathing in. Exhale, breathing in. Exhale, last one, breathing in, hold. Squeeze your block, tuck the belly in, stand tall as you lift through the arms. It's great for strengthening the knees, strengthening the ankles, strengthening inner thighs, groins, core, arms. Exhale, roll down. Beautiful. Take the arms down. 
Okay, just relax your block for a couple of breaths. So we take the strap in the right hand, take the right arm up towards the ceiling, squeeze your block again, come back into your strong alignment, take your right arm behind you, so bend it, the strap is dangling down your back, take the left arm behind, so internally rotate the left shoulder, bend the elbow and take hold of the strap. If you can reach your fingers, you're welcome to use your fingers as well. Squeeze your block, tuck your belly in, stand tall, draw the right arm open, left shoulder rolls open, so you have this beautiful open heart space. Stand tall through the neck. And take five full breaths. You can have the eyes closed or open. Breathing in any way that feels good for your body for this session. So either in through the nose and out through the mouth, or in through the nose, out through the nose. But trying to keep it uh, elongated and also the same length, same inhalation length, same exhalation length. Keep squeezing your block. Stay fully active, stay fully present in your body. And then breathing in, start to release by straightening out this right arm. Really strap down towards the side of the mat. You can remove your block, place it to the front of the mat. Taking a deep breath in, sweep both arms all the way up. Give yourself a full body stretch. Make sure that your feet are planted into the ground so you have a strong foundation to your feet. Connect your fingers, interlace, change the interlacing fingers to the uncomfortable grip. Turn the palms up as if your feet are glued, but you're pressing up now and lengthening as if you're touching the ceiling. Now pretend you have a block in between your thighs. Squeeze your block, your imaginary block. Exhale over to the left. Inhale, come back towards the center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, come back towards the center. Exhale, round forward. Keep squeezing that imaginary block. Round the front of the palms forward and create this beautiful opening in the shoulder blades, in the upper back. Sweep the same interlace behind your spine. Really connect the palms together as if you're gluing them together. Open up chest and shoulders. Open up the heart space. Lift your throat. Lift your gaze. Exhale, start to fold forward. Take the arms overhead. If you need to bend the knees here, that's fine. Bend the knees and fold a little bit deeper. If you have shoulder injury or anything wrong with the arms where it feels really sore, then rather come out and just make your way into a forward fold. Exhale, release hands down to buttocks. Let the arms float all the way down towards the mat. Take a deep breath in, halfway lift. Hands on shins, press into the shins, straighten out your spine, tabletop. Tuck your belly in towards your spine, and then lift all ten toes off the mat. Make sure you're grounding into all four corners of both feet. Now the belly here tucked under, it's like this kind of lift of the belly. It's such a nice feeling, and as you do that, you kind of lengthen through the torso. Exhale, release all ten toes. Start to bend your knees, press your hands into the mat, step right leg back, left leg back into downward facing dog. Grounding through the hands, making your way into good alignment, pressing torso back towards the thighs, lifting the sit bones up towards the ceiling as you draw the heels down towards the mat. Maybe you need to bend your knees slightly here and then ease into it. Maybe you can reach the mat with your heels already. Just breathing into the shape as you slowly start to open the body. On the next inhale, start to lift up onto your toes, roll forward into your plank pose, sliding the legs back, distributing the weight throughout your body. Pretend you have that block in between your thighs, squeezing the thighs together. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up onto the toes, roll forward, plank pose. Again, squeeze your inner thighs together, imaginary block. 
On the next exhale, downward facing dog. One more round. Try to stay with it. I know it's strong on the wrists, especially in the beginning. Breathing in, lifting, rolling into your plank pose. Last one, hold. Squeeze your imaginary block. And then start to release knees down towards the mat. Untuck your toes. Squeeze the elbows so they're coming in towards the midline and then slowly lower yourself down to the mat. You can untuck everything and then slowly make your way into your cobra. So again, if you'd like to, you can have your hands slightly up to the sides and then press into the mat and open into a bit of a wide armed cobra as you open up chest and shoulders. This is often easier in the beginning. Still bending, micro bending the elbows. If you'd like to go a little deeper, you can take your hands behind you slightly Pressing the palms into the mat and lifting up, squeezing elbows into the midline. Now imagine you have your block. Squeeze your, your imaginary block in between your thighs. Opening up your chest and shoulders, pressing the heart forward. Maybe open up the throat here if you want to go a little bit deeper. And then exhale, roll your belly down, chin, forehead up. And then for Shalabhasana, let's take our block, our actual block, place it in between the thighs. Squeezing your block, squeezing the thighs together, point your feet, reactivate through the legs. Take your hands behind your spine, and change the interlace to the second interlace. Breathing in, start to lift your chest off the mat, pulling the arms back so the elbows are squeezing together, you're opening up the heart space, gaze forward. And then start to lift the legs, squeeze your block. Exhale, release slowly. Forehead to the mat, remove your block. Five deep breaths. Just relaxing, arms down by your sides. Taking one more breath, and then bringing hands to the front above the shoulders, spread fingers, press into the mat, slide your blocks back if they're not already next to the mat, and then make your way into child's pose, balasana. Buttocks to heels, straighten out the arms, connect your buttocks to heels, or you can have a cushion in between, just to give yourself a little bit more of a connection if they don't meet. And then try to pretend that they're glued down, and then reach arms forward, stay fully active in this pose, Forehead to the mat. On the next inhale, lift your gaze. Take hold of your blocks, place them up in front or your books. Press your palms down into the blocks and books. Slide them forward, really lengthen through the arms. Press buttocks back. Bow forehead down. Keep pressing your hands into the blocks. Two more breaths. On the last exhale, slide your blocks back onto all fours, pressing hands into the blocks as you stack elbow, uh, wrists under elbows and shoulders, knees under the hips, and start to round your spine. Tuck chin into the chest, cat pose. Inhale, start to lower the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, round. Inhale, lower the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, round, two more. Breathing in, lower the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Let's do one more full round. Exhale, round. Breathing in, lower belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze, stay here, tuck your toes, and then start to press buttocks towards the back of the heels, and press your blocks, press your hands into your blocks, as if you're kneading into your blocks like a cat, strengthening ankles, strengthening knees, and then step right foot to the front, left foot meets the right, then you can come straight into your halfway lift, take hands or shins 
uh, hands onto the shins, lengthen through your spine. Tuck the belly in towards the spine. On the exhale, take a deep forward fold. Breathing in, bend the knees, start to spiral roll. Closing the eyes, take five breaths as you come up, rolling the shoulders up towards the ears, back and down. Standing tall, keeping the eyes closed and navigating your way through to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Lifting all ten toes off the mat. Grounding into all four corners of each foot. And then lowering all ten toes, plugging them into the ground so you have the strong foundation. Come up to the legs, pretend you have an imaginary block in between your thighs. Squeeze your block. Lift through the torso, lift through the chest, and then roll shoulders back and down. Okay, and then you can release, just shake it all out, just get rid of your blocks and straps off your uh, mat. Okay, so we'll move over to our chair. So what I've done with, our, with my chair is I've put a, another mat on top. So you're welcome to use a blanket if you have a high chair like mine. Otherwise you can use the couch or um, the wall as well. So if you're using the wall, you're working a little bit harder because you obviously don't have the support of the top of the chair, but it works really well on the wall as well. So yeah, the wall is a fantastic prop, um, which we'll definitely use again. Um, I just thought today it would be nice to use a chair. So see what you have to use. Make sure that you have cushioning so you're not hurting the back of your ankle. Stand in front of your chair or your couch or your wall. And we're going to stand with hips facing forwards. So we're going to stay in this position. Come into a, almost like a one leg lift. So left knee rises, flex your left foot. Try not to use the chair for support. Try to find balance. Then start to straighten out your left leg. Place the top of the foot uh, sorry, the, the ankle of the foot, the back of the ankle, um, onto the top of the chair, full flexion in your foot. Now take your strap around the top of the foot, take each part of the strap, each side of the strap with your hands, take a deep breath in as you open up the chest, and from the hip we fold forward. So we're going to bow forward. Now just come as far as you feel comfortable. Stay firm on the right leg, maybe micro bending that right knee for a little bit of balance and support. Deep breaths in as you stretch. Lovely long inhales through the nose. Long deep exhales or sighs out of the mouth. Inhale, slowly make your way back to the center. Stay where you are. Take the left hand now, wrap it around your strap so you have this tight grip. Keep full flexion in your left foot. Turn your bottom foot now so it becomes 95 degree angle. So it's a right angle. So it's facing the side of the mat now. Keep your left leg where it is. So this opens up your right hip. Take a deep breath in, take your right arm up towards the ceiling. And again, from the hip, we're starting to fold, oopsie, fold all the way over. Taking the top arm and the top palm, so it's pressing down towards the left foot. You can really uh, pull on your strap here. And then start to roll your head under your armpit so you're looking up towards the ceiling. Such a beautiful stretch in the right side of the body. In the left leg and the right side of the body, lengthening through this top arm. And then inhale, slowly come back to the center. Gaze forward, release. Remove your strap. And we come onto the other side. So standing to face your chair, Feet flat, hips facing forward, breathing in, raising the right knee, flexing the right foot. Taking the right ankle, or the back of the ankle, onto the, the top of the chair. Take your strap to the top of the foot, underneath the toes. Hand on either side of the strap, creating this kind of uh, nice bind, keeping full flexion in your leg. So hips are equal distance, the level. Take a deep breath in, reach out with your chest. Almost puff it out slightly as you tuck the belly in and really fold here from the hips. So you can even walk your hands down. If you feel you can even hold onto the foot, you're welcome to do that. 
Otherwise, it's quite nice to pull on the strap. It gives you that full flexion. Micro bend the left knee if you need a bit of support. And just breathe into the shape. It's a deep stretch. Inhale, slowly rise. Stay where you are, take the strap in the right hand, create this tight grip around, keep full flexion. Turn the bottom foot now to a 95 degree angle foot, maybe move it out slightly, so you've got this perfect right angle. Take the left arm up towards the ceiling, exhale, slowly start to fold over this right leg. Keeping the palm so it's pressing down. And when you get there and you feel stable, start to roll your head under your armpit, but up towards the ceiling. Deep stretch here on the left side of the body. Keep the palm active, keep the legs active. And then slowly release. Such awesome stretches. All right, come back to the front, release your strap. Place it to the side of the mat. You can remove your blanket or whatever you're using uh, on top of your chair. And we come into almost like a downward dog on the chair. So you're going to move your feet to the sides of the mat. So you're widening them as wide as you feel like you can go. Take the palms on top of the chair. You might need to adjust yourself when you're in the position. Just like we did with uh, child's pose with our palms on the blocks. Spread your fingers wide. Press onto the top of the chair, so we're really active through our hands here. And then start to bow forward. So you might need to adjust your legs just to get that deep stretch in the back. So almost like your downward dog here, there's a lift through the sit bones and a drawing down through the ankles, through the heels. Maybe take your head through your shoulders here. Deep breaths in this shape. Ground the foot first. 
If you'd like to go a little bit further, we're coming to our figure of four. So releasing the hands, take the left hand to the left ankle, cross this leg over the right thigh, bring the palms in towards each other, open up that left thigh, so sort of externally rotate it, and then start to bend the right knee as you bring the chest forward. Try to keep this broadening through the collarbones, so you want them to stay open as you draw the elbows up, armpits are active. And then exhale, slowly release, come back up. Take left foot off, hover it above the mat, try to stay with your balance. Release arms down by the sides, and then come back to the ground. Release, maybe shake out this right leg. Moving over to the other side, taking left foot on top of the block. Hovering this right foot next to the block, just getting used to your balance, finding your twisty points, finding your gaze of concentration. Coming back to your breath. And then coming onto the other side, you might find one side feels a bit wobbly, one side feels a bit better. It's always the case. Maybe take an extra couple of breaths on the side that isn't working. Take your foot to the inside of the left thigh or just below the knee, above the ankle. Open up the hips, take hands to heart center if you want to start here, or you can take them straight up towards the ceiling. Shoulders relaxed, palms facing each other. together. Exhale, hands down towards the chest. Hold it here while you get your balance. Stay here if that's enough. If you want to stay here for a few more breaths. If you'd like to go a little deeper, take right hand to right ankle. Cross the right leg over the left thigh. Really externally rotate this right hip. So open this. And then take hands to heart center. Come down, open up the chest. Try to keep the broadening through the collarbones. Squeeze through the glute muscle. Really firming the right buttocks as we come down. And then slowly releasing. Try to stay with your balance as you come out. Arms down. Hover the right leg above so it's next to the block. And then come all the way down. Okay, then moving the block out of the way. And we'll finish off today with two before we come down, we'll finish off with two more rounds of Surya Namaskar, but we'll move quite swiftly through them with our breath. And you'll find that especially after using the blocks and after opening with the props, you'll feel quite loose and it's quite a beautiful feeling as you flow with breath. Alright, so we'll just do a very simple version. Take a deep breath in, arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward as if you're diving into a swimming pool. Halfway lift, straighten out spine, hands on shins, tuck belly in. Exhale, press palms into the mat, step left leg back, right leg back into downward facing dog. Breathing in, lift up onto the toes, roll forward into your plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees onto the ground, untuck the toes, lower your body all the way down. Take a deep breath into high cobra, lifting up, pressing pelvis into the mat, open up chest and shoulders, micro bend your elbows, squeeze your imaginary block in between your thighs. Exhale, belly down, chin, forehead last. Take a deep breath in here on the exhale, press into the mat, buttocks to heels, straighten up the arms, forehead to the mat. Take one inhale, on the exhale, slide into your cat pose, round your spine, we'll just do one. On the inhale, start to lower the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Breathing in, lifting the gaze, bend your knees, step left foot to the front, right foot meets the left, halfway lift, hands on shins. Exhale, forward fold. Bending the knees, breathing in, spinal roll. When you get to the top, roll the shoulders back and down. Let's keep moving, breathing in, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Breathing in, halfway lift, hands on shin, straighten up spine. 
Exhale, bend knees, hands flat, right leg back, left leg back, downward facing dog. Breathing in, lift up onto the toes, roll yourselves forward, slide your legs back into plank pose. On the exhale, lower your knees, untuck your toes, lower your body all the way down, breathing into high cobra as you lift. Opening heart space, squeeze your imaginary block. Exhale, belly down, chin, forehead last. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press all the way back, buttocks to heel, straighten up the spine, balasana, child's pose. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, round your spine into cat pose. Inhale, lower the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze, cow. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Bending your knees as much as you can, gaze forward, step right foot forward, left foot meets the right, halfway lift. Exhale, deep forward fold. Bending the knees, breathing in, spinal roll. This time, as we come up, we roll the shoulders back and down. And then roll the shoulders forward, tuck your chin to chest, and roll all the way back down. Allow the arms to feel heavy, allow the head to feel heavy. Stay in your forward fold for a couple of breaths. And then starting to open up the feet, heels inwards, toes turned upwards, bending the knees, coming into your squat, Malasana. You can use the hands for support here if you need to. You can even place two blocks or books under your heels if your heels are up. Hands to heart center, five breaths. Mask your full as you come all the way down. Okay, and then this is where we'll take our pillow or cushion or anything you have to use as a bolster. And you have a few options here. So either you can lie on the ground, on the back with the bolster underneath your thighs or underneath your knees, which is quite nice. It really forces the spine into the mat, which is a really nice feeling uh, to just ground and almost imprint it into the mat. Or if you're feeling a little bit uh, open and you'd like to open up through the heart space a little bit more, really stretch out the belly, helping aid digestion, you can have the pillows or cushion or bolster or rolled up towel behind your spine. So this is quite a nice way to finish as well. Lying on your back with it down your spine and then really opening through the heart space, arms down by the sides. Or if you really like to and you have a pillow, you're welcome to put the pillow under your head as well. So I'd like you to make your way into full relaxation in any way that feels good for your body. Just take the next couple of minutes for yourself to feel the effects of your practice. And to just be.
you're welcome to stay in the position that you're in for as long as you like. Otherwise, you can make your way up to a seated position to close with me. Bringing your heart, our hands back and towards the heart center as we started. Connecting our left and right. Reconnecting to our feminine and masculine aspects. Connecting with the sun and the moon. The light in me honors the light in you. And together we are one. Namaste.